So if you ever want to test your water for spa, pools, or ponds, this is one way you can do it. So to prevent from algae or any kind of other chemicals going higher than the levels that they are, this is something that you can use. So today we're going to put it to use and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, they do give you a container here. They give you a container here. And this is if you want to grab some water. You grab one of the strips, you put it in here. Make sure that the strip bottom part of the reading part is facing towards the water. I know we need chemicals in here. So we're going to grab a little bit of water. All right. Enough water where the strip is going to go down. All right. So once you have your water, make sure that you have enough water where the strip's going to be covering the entire reed. So let's go ahead and do that. Put the strip in there. Let it go. You're going to have to put the cap on, on the strip itself. You're going to have to leave it about for two minutes instead of 10 seconds. All right. So two minutes in there. Um, recommendation is just to shake it around so it, you don't compromise if it has any kind of dirt or anything. So shake it around. You have to wait for two minutes, take the strip out, and then compare it to the actual list that, that's included with the actual either on the case or on the cardboard so as you can see it hasn't been almost two minutes in about 10 more seconds we're going to take this out but you can't tell what colors they are right now until you actually take it out all right so we're going to go ahead and take it out all right now we grab the actual chart that we have and then we put the strip right over it and we can see that right now if you guys can see it is changing color as soon as it dried up if it's not dried up move it around go ahead and shake it around all right bring it all right, now we're going to compare the actual strips to see where we can see the actual chemical reaction. And right now we're looking at a little bit more yellowish than the 100, if you guys can see. Um, you can tell a change in color, but we're not in the 1,000 yet. We're like in the 100. So it looks like all the chemical balances, it's uh, PHP is um, you know minimum. We're going to have to wait a couple more minutes and maybe we'll get better results. So we're going to let this dry up and come back. All right, as you can see, we are comparing it. And it looks like it, they're all in the 100. It does have a chemical imbalance, but that's where it, you could come in and set up your own chemicals. It shows us that it's a little bit imbalanced. We're in the 100. So anytime you want to do some chemical reactions or changing or maybe getting rid of some algae, this is a one way you can find out. All right, another thing that's real useful that I use this a lot for, I say to make sure I put in not enough uh, enough water without chlorine and that's what I want to do most of the time so I dip this in here and it also notifies me if I do have to clean the water or purify it so I do have to put in a tablet once in a while to clean it up uh, make sure that I keep the levels high for them lower for them actually so I use this a lot for for this specialty too 